Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. I hope you are all doing well and probably better than I'm doing. I'm not that happy, guys. I'm not that happy, I'm uh, actually sad, I have to say. Today, this video will have one objective. Open my heart, being as honest as possible about Cristiano Ronaldo leaving Juventus, because that's what probably will happen 99.9%. .9%. Why am I saying that? Because he already took the plane to Lisbon. He already said to Mr. Massimiliano Allegri that he didn't want to play for Juventus anymore, that he wanted to have a new challenge, a new journey in another club. He's not in the squad list for Juve Empoli, our first game at home, because I listened quite carefully about the press conference of Massimiliano Allegri. And if you want to know why I was not there the last three days, except of the life or the Champions League draw, it's because I wanted to respect something. The Instagram post of Cristiano Ronaldo that made actually all around the world, where he actually asked with his finger on his mouth, stop to share rumors, stop to share fake news, respect me, my career, and everything related to Cristiano Ronaldo. And that's why I, I didn't want to do the uploads of the, the news. It could have been really easy for me. Eh? The world is speaking about Cristiano Ronaldo. I am a Juventus channel. I could have had a lot and a maximum of likes. Easy. New subscribers to the channel. Attracting curious people. I decided not to do that. I wanted to respect the message of Cristiano Ronaldo who said, respect me. And that's why I didn't report the pages Cristiano Ronaldo to Paris Saint-Germain, Cristiano Ronaldo to Real Madrid, Cristiano Ronaldo to Manchester United, maybe, according to the last rumors by Fabrizio Romano and more, Cristiano Ronaldo to Manchester City, the rivals of his ex-club. I didn't want to emphasize all these kind of things. I waited, and now that the press conference of Massimiliano Allegri is done, now that he spoke, I can speak as well. We know surely now, because it has been said officially by the club, that Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't want to play anymore for Juve. What are my thoughts? Is Cristiano Ronaldo's three years at Juve, 101 goals in 134 games, a top or a flop? Could have been even more than 101 if that last minute goal in the injury time versus Udinese that they disallowed him for millimeter VER offside could have been 102. Incredible, incredible, a goal machine. A machine Cristiano Ronaldo if they called him the GOAT. And uh, before his time at Juventus, I didn't even know what GOAT means. I was thinking it was an animal. GOAT, G-O-A-T, greatest of all time. There is a reason. And in three years, I could have seen that he's the GOAT individually. Individually, he scored more than 100 goals in UK, in Spain, in Italy. He entered the gota of the top scorer of Juve, the few ones that were able to score more than 100 goals, triple digit incredible performances from Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, to explain my feeling, is it a flop or is it a top? We have to go back. Back in time, 2018, Juventus Real Madrid, bicycle kick, from Cristiano Ronaldo, that iconic goal. And when I see it, I, I, I don't know. It's a mixed feeling. I see the head of uh, De Chilio and I see the foot of Cristiano Ronaldo. But then I remember all the fans standing up and applauding Cristiano Ronaldo for that goal, that crazy goal that only probably him could do at that moment. He leaves Real Madrid, he comes to Juve. I took a week of holiday. I was excited like a baby. I couldn't believe in it. I was crazy. I took a week of holiday to follow on Twitter, on television. I had like three different screens to watch and to follow it because I wanted to know. I was like a baby excited to have probably the most biggest transfer in Juventus history. Because it is what it is. If you sign Cristiano Ronaldo, it's crazy. Juventus lost 2015 and 2017 finals. Probably with Cristiano Ronaldo, we would have won them. Cristiano Ronaldo, biggest signing in the transfer market of Juventus. We did. We signed him. He comes to Juve with Massimiliano Allegri and the machine starts. Not in the first game, not in the second, but from the moment he played versus Sassuolo, immediately he started with a brace. Guys, 
I had the luck to see him in Champions League, unfortunate moment, and probably that moment in Valencia, the first Champions League game of uh, Cristiano Ronaldo with Juventus, where I was there, I paid so many money to be there, we could have understood that probably it would not have been the Cristiano Ronaldo career and journey that he had in his other teams. Why? After a bit more than 20 minutes, red card. He never had a red card in Champions League before. It is what it is. But I was like a baby. I went back to Juventus Stadium to see him. I was, thanks to Socios, in the first line. A few meters from Cristiano Ronaldo. I was nearly able to touch him. I saw him pre-warming with that music, beautiful music, thunder. I, I had a tear in my eyes. It's true. I was so happy. And I will always be and respect the man. And only for this, guys, it's a top. It was a top. I think Juventus did really well and were smart to sign Cristiano Ronaldo. Then there is a, a perception, a bad perception from a lot of fans because a lot of fans said Cristiano Ronaldo was there to win the Champions League. That's why Juventus bought him. It's not true. Champions League was the icing on the cake. Would have been the miracle. Cristiano Ronaldo that brings the cup that all Juventus supporters want back to Juve. He would have done the impossible. But that was not the main objective of Juventus. Also, but not the main. The main was to increase the brand of Juventus globally. And I think it's a success. It's a top. If we speak about that, it's only a top. 50 million followers on Instagram, Twitter increased, YouTube increased, partnerships, sponsors increased with Cristiano Ronaldo. It's a top in terms of business. And we were growing because the year after Cristiano Ronaldo, after Cancelo, we bought Matthias De Ligt. We bought Danilo. We bought the other few players, guys. We were reinforcing the team, but probably not enough because we were paying old mistakes that we did, extensions of contract that from players that didn't want to leave. And then it stopped. It stopped with a pandemic. A pandemic that actually took away the joy that I had as a supporter going to the stadium, crying to see Cristiano Ronaldo. It took it away. No supporters anymore. Pandemic, COVID. Not only took away the emotions of the supporters, but also revenue a lot where Juventus was not able anymore to do whatever they wanted to do to reinforce the team for Cristiano Ronaldo, not only for him, but for the project of growing as a brand, but also sportively. COVID lost a lot of million, 320 official reported numbers. That's a lot. But anyway, we tried with the Chiesa, with the best pro prospect, young prospect, Kulusevski, failed at the moment or not it's another discussion but we bought the best pro prospect Morata coming back Morata that already knew Cristiano Ronaldo then you can tell me yeah but we didn't win the Champions League we even lost the Scudetto it's a flop Giuseppe but yes if you look at the stats yes we even scored in some season less than before him but he did something incredible. 101 goals in 134 games is something incredible. I will always respect the man Cristiano Ronaldo, the individual Cristiano Ronaldo, for what he brought to Juventus. Incredible. Incredible. I will always say thank you. What were the negative sides? What I think about Cristiano Ronaldo, observing him three years, is that Cristiano Ronaldo uh, is an inv individual. He did great and he broke all his record being individualist. But probably at Juventus, he didn't have the mentality of a team. And that's probably what uh, I was not 100% happy about. He was living and playing for his own success. And at Juventus, unfortunately, he didn't work out well. Um, I remember when he was not scoring immediately and other people were scoring instead of him, he was not happy. Uh, and he showed it with uh, not the perfect behavior on the field. Um, and probably that's what I will, uh, uh, what I will 
think negatively about Cristiano Ronaldo. Greatness for all the other things. Probably one thing negative is the behavior. And I sometimes I talk about it on the on the channel. Now, uh, again, Cristiano Ronaldo. Personally, also for me on the channel, if you are still there, it's because you care. Uh, brought me a lot. A lot of new people that uh, I was able to meet. To discover new cultures. New, new way of thinking. People that were supporting individuals more than a team. And I will be thankful for that because it opened my mind about other things. I will remain because this is a Juve channel uh, and this is in my DNA since I'm a kid. Club bigger than every possible individual. We are speaking about Cristiano Ronaldo, Del Piero, Nedved, Buffon, whoever. The club is always bigger in my idea, but I was happy to meet also people that were thinking differently than me. Guys, Cristiano Ronaldo, top or flop? If you look at the sportive side for Juventus, probably a flop. If you look at the records of Ronaldo, probably a top. If you look at uh, uh, all the other things, it's a question mark and I will let you be you decide but my thoughts my memories is I will always think really happy about Cristiano Ronaldo about his three years but I will have one thing one bitterness probably Cristiano Ronaldo was the best signing ever in Juventus history in the worst possible moment ever pandemic and that's sad that's really sad. I will, uh, we can't go back in time. I would have wished to see all the people uh, cheering Cristiano Ronaldo with a Pogba that, according to all journalists, was near to go to UA if there was no pandemic. I would have loved that the project would have continued. And then you can fail or you can succeed. But I would have loved to. It is what it is. Like I always say on the channel, Cristiano Ronaldo will probably not be a Juventus player anymore. Uh, thank you for what you did. Of course, I am not a Ronaldo fanboy and I will not follow you in other teams. But when I will see the highlights, I will smile. I will say that player was our player once. He didn't succeed, uh, unfortunately. Now, heads to Juventus. Heads to Juventus. And in other video, I will try to think how can we do it. How can we be back to win the Scudetto and compete in Champions League without Cristiano Ronaldo? Who will replace him? An individual? Impossible. Collectively? Maybe. With a Pogba? Who knows? Without Pogba? Probably. Let's see, but then in other video we'll think about that. Guys, I hope you are still there. I hope you put a maximum of like to that video. I hope that you appreciated me being honest. Thank you. And as always, Forza Juve.